So, feminists are nonviolent? Hmm, I disagree. Anyways, you see the title of the article. Let me read you a snippet of it, and I'll link you below. University of California Santa Barbara Associate Professor Morel Miller Young was charged with one misdemeanor, one count of theft, one battery vandalism on the March 4th incident. <sighs> Santa Barbara County District Attorney Joyce Dudley announced on Friday the charges came days after 16-year-old Thryn Short and her parents met with prosecutors. Thryn told authorities that what she told Fox News earlier this month, she, her older sister Joan, 21, and some other pro-life activists were holding signs demonstrating in a free speech zone on the Bubala campus March 4th when Miller Young, who also teaches courses on pornography, went berserk. A feminist teaching courses on pornography. Huh. The sisters say they distributed nearly 1,000 informational pamphlets during the event, which, organized by Riverside Nonprofit Survivors of Abortion Holocaust, things that took unex an unexpected turn, according to when Short Miller Young approached the demonstrators and a group of students who had gathered. Hmm. We don't need to listen to these people. Miller Young shouted, according to the witnesses, they don't have permission to be here. We should tear down their sign. Huh. Captured cell phone video, blah, 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 blah. More things for you guys to see. And I don't see anything about this being religious related, so. Maybe I skimmed over that, if it is there. But there are people who do not believe in God, atheists who are pro-life. I wish I could say I'm one of them, but I'm Buddhist. <sighs> My personal opinion on pro-life, pro-choice, it should be done on the state level. And I personally do not agree with it. I believe that if you fuck up and you bear a child, you should deal with that child. You should bring that child in the world and make sure that the child doesn't make the same mistakes as you. Hmm. Oh, but what about the parents that can't handle this? Well, then you shouldn't have had sex now, shouldn't you? It doesn't take much to take a little pill. It doesn't take much to put a rubber on the person. I'm sure if you add the spermicide foam and all that other crap that you could use as counterception, you won't get fucking pregnant. But no, 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 no. A lot of these feminists want free handouts, free abortions, all that other shit like that. If you want an abortion, you should pay for it. But what about rape cases? I think that should go depending on the rape case. And it should also first depend on whether or not the person was actually raped. Because you know, you hear a lot about fake rape cases. Nowadays. Now, that being said. This is ill behavior. Attacking somebody for using their right to freedom of speech. Oh, they don't have permission to be here. They were in the free speech zone, motherfucker. I don't think it matters. If they have permission or not. I think it's pretty much, oh, look, you want to protest something? Whether it be 9-11 Truth, Occupy Wall Street, or Pro-Life, or whatever. Here you go. What's the place? No, me personally, I don't think that there should be free speech zones. I believe that everywhere should be a free speech zone, so long as you're not on private property. But then again... I don't know if the university is considered to be private property or property of the city. I don't know. That being said, I'm not going to really comment on that. Okay. This behavior is wrong. It is terrible. This is how a lot of people who don't like their opinions being shouted out at them, being discarded. And me, for the most part, I seem conservative from the ways that I say things, and I'm about to rip the conservatives a new asshole. You talk to a lot of pro-gun advocates, rather than calmly explaining why you need the Second Amendment, a lot of them will be stupid and go, yeah, 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 because it's our Second Amendment, yeah, da, 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 rather than giving out real facts when there's plenty of them. In fact, there's about, I don't know, a billion more facts saying why the Second Amendment is important rather than gun control. And yet the lack like jackass is therefore making the entire group of people who are pro-gun look like shit. 
And I'd like to thank my friend Val for bringing up that point. Because, really, it would have just sat in the back of my mind had I not brought it up. This is how a whole bunch of people will act if their opinions are dislodged. And the feminists, some of the worst out there. I mean, I see Nazis who are less violent than this. And I've seen Nazis around my town. In fact, they were handing out flyers when Obama was getting elected, saying what was going to happen, even though a lot of neo-Nazis actually voted for Obama to say, yeah, you see, this is why a black guy can't be president. Shut up, you fucking niggers. I called neo-Nazis niggers because nigger means ignorant, dumb, and stupid. And if you don't like my language, fuck off. The dislike button's down below. And stay the fuck off my channel, after other words. Unless you got something constructive to say. The fact of the matter is, is that so many people don't understand the right to freedom of speech, and this feminist is one of them. Oh, you have an opinion that dissents from mine, that's different than mine? I hate you. Rather than having a logical talk about this. This is the same professor who teaches courses on pornography. <laughs> pornography. You know how long it's been since I've seen a good porno? I remember when I was little, when I was going through all my dad's stuff, he had a copy of Deep Throat. That's really the only porno I can say is any good. I mean, cinematically, it's fucking amazing. And that's made in the 70s. And ever since then, I haven't seen a good porn. Ever. Hmm. So you know what? Chances are the teachers who are teaching pornography, and while also trying to go off and be a feminist or whatever whatnot, I can't take them seriously. I'm all for women being what they want to be, but when you're teaching a course on pornography, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I also hear a lot about feminists being sluts, but I also, along with that, the feminists that are sluts are also the best ones in bed. Fuck your brains out. Mm. Which is why I'd like to bed one one of these days. That being said, I disagree with all of what Mrs. Miller did. I think she was wrong in how she behaved. I think the charges should be a little bit harsher. And I think she should get punished by the campus. That being said, I want to know what you guys think. There's a like button, there's a dislike button. There's also a Facebook page right there that I'd like you to subscribe to. <laughs> that I'd like you to like. I'm working on this thing called the Fallout America Movement, where I want to bring true equality to America. Whew. And I'm going to explain that here in a while. Have a nice day, guys.